Okay, another great feature of Schoology, Schoology is its ability to encourage collaboration between uh, staff members, between educators. And one way it does that is it allows you to share those resources that you save with other educators. And there's a number of reasons you might want to do that. One is that you teach the same subject. So say in our situation at Brady Middle School, you're the 6A math teacher and you want to share those resources with the 6B math teacher so that you can collaborate on them. Another reason might be that you want to share them with your gifted intervention specialist who comes into your room or your special education intervention specialist who comes into your room or any other kinds of uh, co-teachers that come into your room and you want to collaborate with them. Another might be that you're collaborating on a project with a teacher on your team like science and math collaborating or something like that. And another and final reason might be that you're leaving a position or you have left a position and you want to share what you used with somebody that's taking your place so that the good stuff that you did, their students don't have to miss out on. So let's talk about how to share uh, resources in Schoology. First step, obviously, is to get the resources in or the things into your resources. So that's a separate video. If you haven't watched that, please jump back to that one and watch that one. To do it, once they're saved, you go to your resources. You're going to go to personal. You're going to find the resource that you want to share. Now, you want to share an entire collection. So I'm going to click on this eighth grade math collection, and then right up here is a button that says share. Now, before I do it, I would recommend that you add something to the name of the collection that will tell that person whose collection it is. That way, if I'm sharing with a different eighth grade math teacher, I don't have a situation where they end up with their eighth grade math folder and my eighth grade math folder and they get mixed up on whose is whose although you can't see the administrator of the folder right up here so what i would do is click this drop down click rename and maybe add miller in parentheses after it now when they get the folder it's going to be clear which one is which so once you're ready to share it you click the share button right here you're going to type in the person name of the person you want to share it with click on them let's say i'm going to share with mrs draws Click add people and she now has access to that. Now I can go back and change that sharing setting anytime I want to by clicking on, once I'm in the inside of the collection, clicking on sharing right here. I can remove the person from sharing if, for example, I only wanted to share it with them for a limited period of time. I could change them to view only to can edit to let them actually collaborate with me on that folder. So if, if this is really a co-teacher and you're, and you're making resources together, then you would change them to can edit instead of just able to view it. Uh, and then also, obviously, I can add more people to it if I need to. Now, if it's view only, that person then has the opp opportunity to make copies of things and change them as their own, leave your resources the way they were and make their own versions of them. Now, if you want to share only certain items from your course, okay, um, the the easiest way I believe to do that because if you look at if you look at them, there's a, under the drop down over here by this tacos discussion. There's a discussion about tacos. Um, there's no share option here. And if I select it, there's no share option here underneath, uh, underneath options or underneath edit. Um, although you can copy it to another folder or move it to another folder. So that's what I'd suggest. So what I would suggest is create a new collection, call it whatever to share. Okay. Come back in here, go to that thing that you want to share with whoever it is. And maybe it's a couple things. So you click the boxes by all of them. Uh, and then once you've selected them, then you're going to click edit and either move it to that course or copy it to that course. The difference seems pretty obvious. If you move it to that course, it's no longer in its current resource section. So it comes out of this collection and goes into the other collection. So think about if that's what you want to do or not. If you're done using it from this setting, then go ahead and move it over. If you just want them to have access to it, then you would click copy to. Okay, that means it makes a separate version of the assignment that looks the way it looks now. The one thing you want to keep in mind, though, is if you then edit the original resource, the copied one does not get edited, and that's maybe a good thing. And if your colleague edits the copied one, your original one doesn't get edited, so just be, be mindful of that. So I need to select either copy to or move to, and again, it depends on whether or not I want it to stay where it's at now. I'm going to click copy to. And you see under collections, I have all these options here, and one of them is that to share folder. And if there were folders inside of that collection, then I could select to put in a specific one. So you notice that now it stayed in eighth grade math, and if I jump over to share, it's also there.
Now, another option that you may want to consider if you are uh, collaborating with certain people uh, regularly and you know in, in great detail, like, like all of your resources are collaborated on, then you may just want to use group resources. Okay, so you notice I'm in my personal and I could share my personal, or I could jump over to group and have resources in my specific groups. So if, for example, the Brady Math Department wanted to collaborate on their curriculum or their um, assessments, they could do it right in here and all of them would have access to it. And then you have also have the option of adding a group from right up here. So if the groups that we have available to you aren't sufficient, if you need one more specific, you can just go ahead and create that group and then you can collaborate inside of that group. And the other nice thing is from personal, I could do copy to, and you'll see that here under copy to, under collections, are all of my groups that I'm a member of. Okay, so if you need a different group, then you would have to add it in there. Um, notice though, however, that move to does not have the groups in there. I don't know why that is. You can't move a resource to a group folder. You can only copy it to the group folder. So you've got a couple options to collaborate. You could either share an entire resource collection with specific people, you could share specific information to other people by copying it to a separate collection, or you could share your resources to a group and make the entire thing collaborative. And again, like I said, you could make your own group if the groups that we have available are not sufficient to you.